hello children welcome to our practical session of physics in that experiment number one to determine resistance per centimeter of a given wire by plotting a graph of a potential difference versus current aim of the experiment to determine resistance per centimeter of a given wire by plotting a graph of potential difference versus current we'll see what are all the apparatus we need a battery eliminator a one way key a unknown resistance wire a rheostat ammeter appropriate range voltmeter and connecting wires to connect for the connecting wires let us see the theory working theory according to the ohm's law the current flowing through a conductor which is directly proportional to the potential difference across its end provided the physical conditions temperature dimensions pressure of the conductor remains the same if i be the flowing current through a conductor and v be the potential difference across its ends from according to ohm's law i which is directly proportional to v so v is directly proportional to i v which is equal to i r we know that so r is the proportionality constant v by i which is equal to r the si unit which is ohms we'll see the circuit diagram so in that circuit diagram battery 0 to 12 volt we can take so the negative terminal of the battery should connect in one end of the key from key to rheostat from rheostat to unknown resistance then unknown resistance to ammeter so this is the series and the voltmeter should connect in parallel let us see the connections yes now from battery negative to one end of the key we'll connect one end of the key and next other end of the key to lower end of the rheostat connection should be neat and tight okay children yes now the next connection you have to take it from the upper end of rheostat to unknown resistance wire so the other side of the unknown resistance from that to ammeter negative now from positive to the ammeter positive from that to positive terminal of the eliminator so this is series now the ammeter connection should be in series and the voltmeter connection should be parallel with the unknown resistance wire So now we are going to introduce this voltmeter parallelly with this and we are going to connect you have to ensure that the voltmeter should connect with the positive of the battery to the positive of the voltmeter and the positive of the ammeter to the positive of battery 
then only the connection is proper. Again, I am telling children, you have to ensure that the connection should be neat and clear. And before you start, you have to check all the connecting wires. Yes. Now, we have completed the connecting circuit. Let us perform the activity, dears. Yes. Yes. Now, we will switch on the battery. First, you must insert the key and slide the rheostat contact and see that the ammeter and the voltmeter are working properly right yes it's working properly now we are going to adjust the sliding contact of the rheostat then only we can get the small current which pass through the resistance coil or this wire now we are going to note down the values of the potential difference through the voltmeter and current i through the ammeter right yes now we'll shift to the rheostat contact yes now we got deflections which shows on the voltmeter and the ammeter without changing this rheostat you have to note down the two readings which is there on the apparatus now we'll take at least six set of uh, independent observations the second one i'll take now in voltmeter you may see that like you have to take see 1.5 and when you see in here without the parallax error you have to check the values that is 0 0.5 in that way you have to change the values how beautifully it is uh, changing see the deflection now you may see the value of voltmeter that is 0 0.3 and here in ammeter 0 0.1 now we'll note it down all the readings which we have taken in the experiment so we fetch the observations length of the resistance wire we have taken that is l which is equal to 100 centimeter the diameter we have taken with the help of the screw gauge 0 0.50 into 10 para minus 3 meter ranges we have taken this is the least count and the tabulation A tabular column what we have taken that i have tabulator uh, we got ammeter reading that is one which is voltmeter reading three like that we have repeated for six times and one reading i am showing for you r which is equal to v by i which is a formula v which is equal to 3 we have taken i that is 1 so 3 ohm like that we will calculate for the 6 readings and we will get the average so we will see all the we, we worked out all the calculations for uh, different values we have taken for the resistance so mean value of the resistance which is uh, 3.01 we got it resistance per centimeter we have to get calculate so that 0 0.03 ohm per centimeter or ohm centimeter per minus 1 and also through the graph so the aim which is through the graph we must calculate let us see so we plot the graph for ammeter reading and the voltmeter reading so we'll get the straight line graph right the resistance value we got the points plotted through that but for example you can take it for the voltmeter that is 3 which means ammeter we got 1 right 
so 1 comma 3 diameter 1 and voltmeter 3 and as well as I have marked all the readings a uh, different readings which we have taken so after connected we got the straight line from this we will ca calculate the slope then we will get the resistance per centimeter through the graph value so for calculating the graph we have to know the slope the slope you know that y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 so two different any two different values you can take so i have taken three one y2 value minus 1.9 hold it by one minus 0.6 as we get from our tabular column i have taken these readings and so we got finally 2.75 so we can take it as a 2.8 so resistance per centimeter means 2.8 by 100 so you will get 0 0.028 ohm centimeter per minus 1 so we can round off the value 0 0.03 ohm per centimeter or you can keep it in the same way so we have taken the result we'll see the resistance per centimeter of the wire as 0 0.03 we got it from experimentally and also we proved that nearly 0 0.03 value only is it right so you have to maintain some precautions and sources of error while doing the practicals thank you children